As we talked about a little bit earlier, we were with the governor today at the Air Force Museum at Wright Pad, and he wants to make people as uh, known as much as possible about what he wants to do with his proposal when it comes to his two-year state budget plan. Part of the plan sets aside money for districts to get help paying for school resource officers. News Center 7's John Bedell is live in the News Center. And John, you talked with districts today about how they would like to use this money to expand their school safety programs. Every local district I checked with today has at least one SRO. These are sworn law enforcement officers from departments in the school's community, but they're not cheap. And multiple districts told me today they'd welcome the extra help from Columbus to help cover the cost of student safety. Here at Mad River Local Schools in Riverside, they're in their first year with a school resource officer. He's housed at Stebbins, that's our high school, um, but he covers all eight buildings. That's his responsibility. Superintendent Chad Wean tells me the district splits the cost three ways for their SRO from Riverside PD. The city of Riverside, um, Mad River Local Schools, and then we have a, a grant that helps cover the cost and um, the cost of the officer is about $120,000 that includes salary and benefits. Here's what I found out from four of the Miami Valley's largest districts Wednesday. They each have at least three school resource officers that cost them an average of $36,000 per officer per school year. And just like we and they all told me they'd be open to expanding their programs and hiring more SROs if they can get money from the state to help cover the cost. Ideally, it would be nice to have two. Many school uh, officials have told me they would love to have a school resource officer uh, in their school, but they simply could not afford it. That's where part of the governor's new two-year budget could come in. It would make money available to every school in the state, public or private, to either start or expand their school resource officer program. This is what Governor Mike DeWine told me when I asked about his proposal during a stop at the Air Force Museum to pitch his budget plan. The poor school districts will get more money towards that resource officer. Uh, the more affluent districts will candidly get, get less. Uh, but every district will get some help in, in getting a school resource officer in that school. Now keep in mind, the governor uh, creates his budget, but... He has to make his pitch to state lawmakers because they have the final say. Sometimes the legislature goes along with it. Other times they have a different set of priorities. We'll track this budget and let you know what happens. Live in the News Center, I'm John Bedell, News Center 7.